What do you know? Well, hello. Have you ever thought to one about fish? No. Right now we are no. on our way to Dambi. Sorry. Hello. Right now we are on our way to fish. Instead, we are going to sell her wedding ring no. and eat fish. No. Yeah, because. It's not <laughs> Can you tell I've been having lots of fun in Limbe? Yes, I have. Guys, if I leave this place and my jaw fat small, blame it on Rachel and Auntie Yu. We were at Auntie Yu's place, at luscious equang and pancakes. I was not even just understanding my head. So when I left Auntie Yu's place, I came to Rachel's place. Guys, Rachel is like my uni mother. Okay? Oh my god, this girl used to feed me. She loves to cook and serve people. Hi. Me will be lazy so for university. I need to cook. <laughs> there are times when I will just get up and boil pap. Eh? I'll eat the pap in the morning. I'll eat in the evening. I'll eat the next morning. Eat in the evening. Just because of laziness. Narachel could feed me. It could cook rice and stew. Big bar fish. The next day you will see it don't cook na ekwang. After that I was like ah. <laughs> so she really really took care of me. She's she has this very wonderful heart and i love her so yes i had a review a few days back you guys saw that i cut my hair this is the process you all have been asking me why i cut my hair oh vicky you like to play with your hair too much oh vicky this vicky that guys you know for a long time i haven't plated my hair i've been cutting my hair stuff like that so when i left the north i came to Douala. see it's just been a series of heat Hot place, hot place, hot place, hot place. I came to Douala. I did this hair in Douala. And I think all of that period, I was just home. Yeah, mostly working. So it was always very hot and stressful. You know, it's not. it's been a while I haven't done my hair. So it was really, really stressful having hair touch your body. Ah, I hate that feeling. Sleeping at night was just crazy, crazy. There's something that happens when hair gets to smell. Like when you sweat on your hair, it gets to smell. So you have to wash it. If the hair is still new, you have to wash it and then... No, just treat it like that. Man, I did not just have time to be doing those kind of things. So I decided to just cut the hair. Like the day I cut this hair, I had enough of hair touching my body. So I just cut it and that was it. Nothing happened. No thing. I am here to tell you something that you should never ever do never so yesterday i sat let me turn this camera <laughs> so don't try this do not i need a go now for barbing saloon we shave all the hair all <laughs> okay So the way I cut the hair, man, the hair was unusable, not usable. So I had to go cut everything, like just go bald. And when I got to the studio, the guys were not just having Let it. Let me share my hair journey. Keeping natural hair is the most difficult thing ever on this earth. My hair journey from here to here. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. So I was once into the natural hair gang, gang, gang. <laughs> oh my god, I had fun at that moment while it lasted. But we came to an end. We came to a conclusion that we are not doing that again. After everything I have done, this is my level right now. And it's been like a month or going to two. And I love it. When I left Limbe, I came to Boya to visit Phil. And we spent the whole day. We went to this restaurant. The restaurant is called La Sena. In fact, Phil told me that they do like crazy, crazy pork. That he really wanted me to taste it. I was like, okay, let's do that. So I was meeting Phil, Phil's fiance in the black top and her best friend in white it was a very cool evening we had time to just get to know each other it's actually it was actually my first time meeting her so it was a very good one so the next day i traveled to yaoundé because my program in boya in fact in the southwest was done I got to Yaoundé on Friday 
and saturday harriet calls me to tell me leke had an accident and died guys i have never been shot off i just did not know what it was really overwhelming for me it it was very very overwhelming i cannot explain it so i traveled back to boya the next week to bury leke so right now i'm just putting this video here because well i'm just putting like something to remember her with you know if jesus doesn't come before like if, the, if jesus doesn't come tomorrow you know let me see this video and i get to remember leke how lively she was and all of that yeah that's the reason why i am doing that and more than ever before i have just been in this place where i am so conscious of the coming back of jesus i am so conscious that this, this is not a joke i am conscious of the fact that there is eternity and i need to choose if i want to spend eternity with god or eternity on the other side and daily i'm in this place where i just ask the holy spirit to help me to know the father more so that i become like god help me to to love god not in words not only waking up every morning and saying father i love you but in my actions that every action that i carry out is going to be in respect to the word of god that i will truly believe in jesus and that i will be ready anytime if like there are two instances the time when jesus comes back to take those that are his you know for the rapture or if something happens to me and i go to be with the father so i'm just getting ready for that so after the period in boya we traveled back to yaoundé i think i shared another video with you of how harry and i got to yaoundé so we have come to the end of this video hmm i hope you learned something I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.